How's everybody doing today? Today I want to take just a little bit of time and show you my steps and what I do when I'm uh, creating a mineral site. This right here is just for uh, simply attracting new deer. It's not for antler growth or anything like that. This is just to bring them in, get them in my location so I can get them in front of the trail camera and see what's on the property. But uh, today I'm not going to be doing this by myself. I've got a little bit of help today and this is my daughter Avery. She has been wanting to do a YouTube video with me, so always like to get her involved with different things. She's um, going to be deer hunting soon here, hopefully. Got her new bow this year, so we're going to be getting that out, getting in the backyard, and try to get that sighted in. And she enjoys going out in the woods with me and checking trail cameras and things like that and just being outside. So always good to get the kids involved and uh, raise them upright and teach them how to be around the woods. So today we're going to get started here. We're just going to um, mix a few things together. This is what I do uh, to get a good inventory of deer that are on certain properties that I'm maybe not familiar with. So by me mixing these things together and adding just a few things to the fine uh, stock salt here, um, this is just enables the deer to locate it easier and quicker. So I have a better idea of, of what's in the woods, what kind of deer are on that property and then after the site is established you can just simply move to using the stock salt and not adding any um, extra additives to this so we'll get started here and start mixing some stuff together and just show you kind of what we do so first um, I'm just going to add to the bucket here I've got just a 50 pound bag of the fine stock salt so this bag here is just simply salt it's 98 percent salt um, the two big factors for antler growth are calcium and phosphorus. Um, so after I get a site established, then I can start incorporating things like that for antler growth. But to be honest, I don't worry too much about that for uh, mineral sites. They're going to find that by new vegetation and food plots. So I just do this for an inventory type thing. So we'll add a little bit of this salt here. No measurements, just kind of dumping things in. But I'll add some salt to this bucket. Salt. And Avery, if you want to go ahead and take the lid off of that. This? Uh, take the lid off the orange mix. Show them what that is. What's tang. that say? Tang. So we're just adding a little bit of tang to this. Um, you can do this. You're going to mix? Yeah. You can dump it in. How much do I do? Just start dumping. That's good. So like I say, not using any measurements here, just kind of eyeballing it. Um, <clears throat> this here, like she mentioned, this is just a jug of tang. Um, I know us humans, we all love tang, so anything that's got a good aroma to it and real sweet um, is going to, you know, attract deer in much quicker. So we'll just mix that up pretty good. That's good? Yeah. Let me get the bottom of it a little bit. And like I mentioned, this is just something I do on new properties. Uh, the very first time that I create a mineral site. After it's established, as you guys know, anybody that's familiar with mineral sites, once they locate them, um, they're going to keep coming back to it and just digging a big hole in the ground, pulling at it with their hooves, and then they actually prefer to uh, eat the dirt or you can pour it on a stump as well. They'll eat that old stump. And I've seen sometimes just completely uh, demolish or completely eat the whole stump entirely. Axe with treasure hunter. <laughs> huh? Axe with treasure hunter. <laughs> <clears throat> So once you get this out to the woods, what I like to do is take the bucket with me and then take a shovel or a hoe and just make sure and dig down three or four inches probably, chop up the dirt real finely, and then pour this in that location and then kind of mix it all back together with the dirt because they much prefer to eat this along with the dirt, let that soak into the earth, and then they'll just keep coming back to it even when it looks like there's no salt there. They'll continue to paw at the ground 
and dig up that salt that they can they can taste and trying to get down further to it. So next we'll just take some original syrup. Original mm -hmm. syrup. Good job. <laughs> that to the side. We'll go ahead and dump some of that in. Mm -hmm. So by adding uh, original syrup to this, this will mm -hmm. actually make it kind of crystallize. Um, makes it more of a thicker type substance and it's real good to put this on top of your... Keep adding some more. Okay. It's real good to put this on top of your, your mineral site because it's kind of a crystallized form and it's just real sweet and kind of chewy for them and just enables them to, to locate that site much easier, much faster. Okay. A little bit more. Do about half the bottle. Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah. It's gonna be a while. Give us one hour. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> that's probably good. It's like a crystal. And then we'll mix that all together. Probably catch Avery down there with the deer eating on this. Mm. A bunch of sugar in this bucket. That's what she loves. Keep mixing. It's gonna be hard to mix. It's gonna get real thick. <coughs> Another thing I'm sure you guys are all aware, but you want to make sure and check your uh, state regulations. Um, here at Indiana, we're not able to bait deer, so. Always want to make sure and follow those precautions. Just look at your, uh, make sure and look at your DNR website. Follow those precautions. Don't want anybody to get in trouble. But always make sure and remove this be well before season comes in, and then don't hunt anywhere close to this. So just take a look at your um, DNR's website and follow those precautions. Yeah. And we'll just get this all mixed up. And I'll let this set for probably just a couple days before we put it out, but it becomes a nice kind of crystallized, real thick and chewy type substance that the deer just love. And then the, the scent that puts off it, the, the deer come into it much quicker than just dumping a bag of salt. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Take a bite. No. <laughs> And you can kind of see there, it's just real thick, chewy type substance. And it'll continue to crystallize once I just set this out in the garage before I dump it out. And I'll take that and just sprinkle a little bit more on top of there. That's good. And just Pour just a little bit more of that in. That's good. And then we'll just let that set for a couple days. Then we'll take it out to the woods and put it in a new location. Put a trail camera up on it and see what kind of inventory we have. And uh, watch the deer grow until bow season comes in. So like I said, just wanted to get my daughter involved today. Make sure and take friends and family out to the woods with you guys. Get them involved early. We're going to be sighting in some bows here for too long and getting ready for this coming season. So if you guys don't mind, just follow along, subscribe, stay tuned for more updates, and happy hunting. See you guys. Say bye. Bye. See ya.